For the fourth day of Severe Weather Awareness Week, we're focusing on tornadoes. We do have our special project tornado that goes really in-depth into how a tornado forms, our history with them in southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. So what I want to focus more on today is tornado sirens. Now today is the statewide tornado drill in Minnesota. You may have heard that already at 1.45 p.m. We'll have another siren go off at about 6.45. Now something to note is that cities and counties operate those sirens. It's not a statewide thing, so that does mean that each county can have a different policy on when those sirens are activated. So you really can't depend on those sirens because you might not know your county's policy. You might not know uh, when those sirens should be activated. So you should not be relying on tornado sirens to alert you about severe weather. So if you shouldn't be relying on them, really what are they for? Why do we even have them? Well, they are for people who are outside that don't have a way to keep up with current weather conditions. That could be a farmer out in a field who doesn't have cell service, someone who's driving down the highway that can't be looking at their phone, or someone that's even playing a baseball game and obviously are occupied and outside that would be in danger, uh, especially if there is severe weather. So that is who it's for. Now, who it's not for is really everyone else, those who can be checking the weather and they should be uh, looking at that and knowing what is going on in their area. One great way to keep up with current weather conditions is with our KTTC Weather Authority app. You can download that on your phone. It has current conditions and has current satellite and radar and it will alert you if there are watches and warnings alerted for your specific area.